All right, so today there will be no timer. If you need some blocks, you've got some yoga Pilates blocks at home. That's, that's gonna be great for some of the um, exercises I have for you to do. We, there will be quite a few planks in here. If you can't hold your plank pose long enough or as long as I'm holding, that's okay. Drop to your knees, reset, get back into that. So first, let's start with one of my favorite warm-ups I like to do. We're gonna go into a plank to pike, and then we're just gonna be flowing through this, all right? So let's go ahead. Let's get into that nice plank position. Remember, your shoulders are gonna be over your hands. Make sure you have this volume turned up and you're hearing me because I'm gonna be giving you lots of little cues to really think about. So we wanna make sure you're not hurting yourself and not overstretching. Okay, so right here, we're in this plank position, shoulders over those hands, press your heels back behind you. You're gonna come up into that pike, Now you're gonna take your right leg out in front of you. You wanna drop that knee down. This is when you need to get something with a cushion if your yoga mat is not um, thick enough. You wanna rest your foot right here on the floor. You wanna bring this leg, or sorry, this arm right on the inside of your thigh, your leg. And then I want you to reach up. Heel, toe, everything's aligned and straight, and you're maybe about an inch away from the body, from the knee. If you're not there yet, that's okay. That's why we're working on this, right? Okay, let's go ahead and bring that hand down. Go ahead and bring it back up. And let your head just follow along with that hand. We'll do a couple rotations right here, working on that balance. Good, still breathing in. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Give me one more. And we're gonna switch our arms, let's go to the other side. This is where a block may be necessary or find something at home that you can rest your hand on if you can't get down here. Let's go ahead and reach up this side. Engage your core, pull that belly button in. Still breathing nice and strong. and then we're gonna let that fall down. This time we're gonna open up a little bit more. Thank you. 
side. Remember your modifications right here, dropping that leg down or coming into a forearm plank on the side. Now for advancement, if you can right here, making sure your shoulder is over that hand, very important. The string is pulling your hips up and now we're gonna pull that knee in. Remember, if you're right where I told you to be before, where you have that knee down and you're in the low plank, that's fine. You're working your way up to this. One more. Great. And let's get back into that plank. We're gonna go back into that pike. Pull back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One more. And take that left foot in front. Drop that knee, relax that foot. Let's go ahead and take, I'm gonna face you. Let's go ahead and take your one, that inside arm right here. Check your alignment. Bring that arm inside, parallel to your foot, and let's raise up. some circle rotations. Follow that hand. It's okay if you are losing your balance doing this, just look down to the floor and let that arm go like so. Switch arms, reach up. And drop that hand down, this time a deeper stretch, reach up. And drop that down, this time we lean forward, dropping those hips to the floor. Once again, grab your blocks if you need them. Core engage, inhale, exhale, push back. Inhale. One more, we get into that side plank. First, we're gonna go up into that plank. And let's turn it over. Stack your legs. Pulling up, bring it in. One more. And back to that pike plank. Pull in, inhale, exhale, push back. was sore from your struggle but I still wanted more our black back is going to be nice and flat right here keep that straight back legs nice and wide and now you're going to fall down and we're going to rock forward and back once again if you need your blocks you're going to be right up here on those blocks rock back and forth lock your legs 
<sighs> Pulling that core in. Toes to heels. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Two more. And now we're gonna get down deep into the sumo gorilla stance. As low as you can. The whole focus here is to drop your hips down, gaining some flexibility throughout your hip flexors. So if you can, if you're just here, try to get a little wider. Get a little wider, try to get a little deeper. Use your blocks if you need to, to try and loosen this up. So we're just gonna sway side to side, hands together. Pushing through, gaining some mobility in through our toes and our ankles. Good. And now, blocks or floor, you're gonna bring your knee in and alternate that. Breathing it in and out. Good. And come back into the sumo here, side to side hips, sway, sway. Now we're gonna take our left arm and we're gonna reach it up to the sky. Other arm stays down and in between our legs. Reach up right here. Inhale, exhale, switch the sides. And switch. And one more on this side. Good. Now we're going to come down into this and then we're going to rise up. So you, once again, we're into that pyramid position, bottom up in the air. And then we're going to come down as low as we can, sinking into gaining a little bit more fluidity in our hips. So let's come up, pull it down. Inhale, exhale. Good. I want you, as you're in this position, I want you spreading your fingers away, your toes away from each other. And one more. Let's your head fall. Let your head just anchor your body down. Side to side, nice and easy. Rocks, little rocks here. Good. And I want you to hear slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, we're gonna come up. Slow count, so listen for my counts. Don't come up yet, listen for my counts. We're going to come up 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Shoulder shrug up and bring it down. All right, now we're going to one of my favorite poses. You all know this one for sure, right? Child's pose. So right here with this one, though, I really want those knees spread out. I want your feet touching, and I want you coming back down, sinking those hips down to the ground. And as you're here, you're going to pull your fingers away from the body or push them out. And so I want you feeling that stretch. Rest your head down on the mat. Pull your hands away from your body, feeling a nice stretch down into your lats, pulling, pulling, breathe in, 
Exhale out. Let's go ahead and reach over to that left side and hold. Still engaging your core. Let's reach over to that right side and hold. And down the center again. And let's come up to my favorite, favorite froggy position right here, dropping those hips, sink, sink, sink. And pull them back. And pull them up. Once you find your rhythm, find your flow, as slow as you want to go here. Last one right here. And as we come back into the child's pose, we're gonna bring it up right here. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Bring your knees a little closer together. And we're gonna thread that needle. And we're gonna press through for a, lo a longer time. And then we're gonna go a little, little faster to a faster flow. So first we're gonna press that shoulder down. Hold this here for five. And let's bring it up again. And press down for four. And bring it up. And let's go to the other side. Bring it up nice and long. And bring it up. And again. And last one. Good, all right, let's get back into some core work, Clank, clanking, clanking. So we're gonna try this one out. We're gonna do an eight point plank. Okay, we're gonna start with, this is gonna be your modification to go to because we're gonna do an advanced lever plank after this. So first step, you want your elbows away from the body. Eight points is hands on the mat, elbows on the mat, that's four, knees on the mat, that's six, feet on the mat, that's eight. What comes up are your hips and you need to make sure you're tucking in your pelvis floor. So as you're coming up, you're here, right? You're not doing this, okay? That defeats the purpose. So you need to tuck, tuck, tuck. The further away you are from your body, the harder this is. And I really want us to try this for a good little time here, okay? So you're right here looking, you see your elbows, they're a little bit in front of you. And then we're gonna come up, we're gonna start tucking, pulling in deep into that multifida muscle. We are pulling in our core, we're breathing in. Exhale, come out. You should be shaking. You hear it in my voice, right? And drop down. We're gonna do that a couple more times, but I'm gonna show you an advanced one right here. So this time, what's coming up is everything except for your forearms, but they're ahead of you. They're in front of the body again. So the other plank right here, you're gonna start off here, right? To a good plank. Then you're gonna push away. And you're holding this. So if you're slipping, maybe use a wall behind you, which I'm probably gonna to have to do because it's a little slippery in here. Um, and we're gonna hold that. We're gonna try it for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is definitely doable for, I think, most of you. So if you wanna attempt a lever plank, do it. If not, you're doing your eight point plank, all right? So, there we go. Deep inhale, I'm embracing, and <laughs> come on up. 
Push your elbows away from the body. Challenge yourself, make it a little harder. And drop it down, good. These are awesome, they're gangbusters. We're gonna do it one more time, one more time. This time a little longer. Yes, you can. And drop that down. It doesn't help that my my whole my forearms are slipping away from the body. Well, that was a challenge. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over, sunny side up. Hands underneath your glutes here. We're gonna lift our hips up into a reverse plank. In four, three, two, bring them up. Pull, pull, pull. Make sure your hands are close to underneath your butt, all right? Not all the way behind. A lot of people tend to be back here. You need to be here, protect your shoulders. And release down, drop down, good. This time we're gonna work a little on balance by lifting one leg, alternating. For three counts, let's do that. So you're gonna lift up, bring up one leg up, three, two, one, drop down. Three, two, one, drop down, good. And bring it down right here, release. Come down, pull back, come forward, pull back. Keep those feet flexed. You wanna try and touch your toes if you can. You wanna to get to that place someday, right? As you come back, lengthen your spine, And let's come here, meeting at your feet, and you're gonna come back, lengthen that spine, stretch, stretch, stretch. As we come forward, you are not bending your back, keeping that alignment, getting that nice stretch down through our hamstrings, pull back, come back down again, pull back. Take your left hand, bring it up and over the opposite of your leg. You're on the outside of your ankle right here. You're gonna reach up. Pull in. And switch. Pull up. Reach the ceiling, opposite arm to leg. And bring it back down again, pull up, other side. Bring it down, pull up. Let's do this one more time, reach up. Bring it down, pull up. And come back down right here. Let's go ahead and point. Let's do some pronation and dorsiflexion. Pronate, dorsiflex. Point, 
flex. Keeping your back straight. Sit bones are nice and parallel, even on the floor, on your mat. Inhale, exhale. And let's go ahead and take, open up. Let's go ahead and take your left knee right here, pull it in, and we're gonna open this out. And we're gonna clamshell it in. So each time I want you to try and focus on bringing that knee down to the mat, but you're not forcing it. You're gonna feel a little more open with each butterfly opening. One more. Let's go to the other side, pull in and open. more. Perfect. Go ahead and lengthen your legs. This time we're going to take our knees in and we're going to rock back. And I want you to rock, getting some nice mobility in through your spine. We're going to rock 10 times and then we're just going to come down in a supine position, lying down on that mat. So let's go ahead and rock it back. Inhale, exhale as we come up. You're going to try and balance on your glutes. Try to have it so that your feet are not touching the mat. They do. Here we go. Oh, I love this. This feels so good. Mm. Two more. Last one here. And as we rock back, we stay here. Open up those arms right here. Go ahead and bring both legs down. Center your body into that mat. And I want you to go ahead and pull your left knee into your chest. And you're gonna cross it over your body. Look the opposite direction and hold. And now we take that knee, opposite arm, or same arm on the same side. You're gonna do these little circles. Rotate, internal rotation in. And it's going to open it out to the side. Try to make your hips parallel to the bottom of the mat. Push that leg down. Mm, this is when a good yawn just, mm -hmm. Oh, all right, let's go ahead and turn over, crossing that knee over the body with the opposite direction. And let your knee just fall. Some rotations and circles in. And let it open, butterfly it out. Good. All right, let's go ahead and bring those knees in. 
Three times, and third time we're gonna rock it all the way up. And we're down to standing. Good. Okay, last two right here. We are done. Oh, that feels so good. Amazing. I needed it. I hope you needed it as well. One more. Here we go. Remember to subscribe, like, comment below, tell me what you think, and let me know if you want more workouts like this, okay? You all have a great day.